San Antonio demolished OKC by 32 points on Saturday night. Kevin Durant struggled with a minus 31 in the game and only made six of 15 field goals. Stephen A., how much will this series determine Durant's future? Well, I think it's going to determine it a great, great deal. And Skip, I'd like to read uh, something from an article in OKC News uh, by uh, a guy that does an outstanding job for them named Darnell Mayberry. He's you know excellent. Him. He's excellent. Him. He's yep. excellent. Good guy, too. Mm -hmm. He's excellent at what he does. Yep. And he wrote um, in an article dated March 7th about Joel Myers, who's the voice for the New Orleans Pelicans, mm -hmm. but also used to do some, uh, he still does stuff on Sirius XM Radio, does an outstanding job there, and, uh, you know, calling games and doing all of that stuff. And he also, and, and he quoted, Joe Meyer saying this, I made some calls over the weekend talking to Vinny Del Negro. If they don't, meaning if the Oklahoma City Thunder don't win the championship, I'm told if they don't at least get to the NBA Finals, Durant is gone. Now, I wonder where we heard that. Because it's something that I've said on, on several mm -hmm. occasions. When everybody in Durant called me a liar and everybody's going up, it's what has been going on. It wasn't breaking news for people who cover the NBA. Mm -hmm. It's something that has been talked about since the summertime. Yeah. O o o OKC is under immense pressure, which, by the way, if they end up losing Durant, Sam Presti, who I admire and respect, is going to have some explaining to do because bringing in a college coach in Billy Donovan knowing that you got to possibly go up against the Greg Popovich and the Steve Kerrs of the world, and you go the route of Billy Donovan, you're going to have some explaining to do if you end up losing this series and losing Kevin Durant, which I think it's very, very possible. But it's not etched in stone, and here's why. Le Durant can always elect to go le the LeBron route. Instead of signing a long-term deal, yep. mm -hmm. you can sign a two-year deal with an opt-out after one year that enables you to not be a free agent this season, but next season. Yep. And then as a result, you, along with Westbrook, are both free agents at the same time, and you can go someplace else as a packaged deal. Yep. That is entirely possible that Durant can elect to do that. That is an option. Me personally, Skip, I think the, it's a 50-50 proposition that he's gone. If you get blown out in this series, I think he'll leave. That's my personal opinion. I don't know that, but I believe that. I'm hearing there's no way in hell he's going to Washington. So if that's why Ernie Grunfeld hired Scott Brooks, you made a mistake. Yep. Because from what I'm hearing, Kevin Durant not interested in going I home. I agree. Now Kevin Durant could be lying because I'm not calling him a liar, but I'm saying he could be... Yeah. Just saying he's not going because he doesn't want everybody to know because he doesn't want that pressure coming from the homegrown folks when he hasn't made a decision yet. In, in the L.A. is a consideration. Uh, that's why Luke Walton's there. New York is a consideration because Carmelo Anthony yep. has unapologetically been pursuing Kevin Durant. Yep. Okay? But to me, if I am Kevin Durant and I don't stay in OKC, there is one place that I'm going above all else, he, he's and, that there is, right now. and that is to South Beach oh, I and Miami, San not the San Antonio okay. Spurs. Yeah. You got the Marcus Aldridge along with Kawhi Leonard. They've got five championships on their resume. They've been perennial title contenders. They don't need you. You don't, even though anybody could use Kevin Durant because he's one of the top three players in the world, to me, it's the same principle. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if he ended up going to Golden State, if Golden State would have won the championship this year and Kevin Durant went to Golden State, I'm not interested in that. I wouldn't even recognize him as a champion because they won without you. So why are you going? you just yeah. jumping on that bandwagon. But considering that Miami has dissipated and they've fallen out of the championship equation. If you went there, if you went to Washington, if you went to New York, a legitimate argument could be made that they won because of you. You didn't just hop on for the ride. To me, you're hopping on for the ride if you're in San Antonio. You're hopping on for the ride if you're in Golden State. You're not hopping on a ride if you're in Miami. Because mm -hmm. no matter how good they look, we know they ain't Cleveland because they don't have LeBron. And LeBron is perceived as being your kryptonite. So you go to Miami. Yeah. It's South Beach. You got D-Wade because they got his bird right, so you can still bring D-Wade back. You got Hassan Whiteside. You got Justice Winslow. I can't tell you how much I keep raving about this kid, Josh Richardson. I love this kid. What a bright future. Mm -hmm. And then the possibility of Chris Bosh coming back, you're yep. talking title. Yep. You're talking title. He, excuse me, if Bosh were healthy with the heat as presently constructed and you add Kevin Durant to that, it's a wrap. 
It's a wrap. I'm telling you that right now. There's no way that, 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 that Miami is not coming out of the Eastern Conference if Kevin Durant joined that Miami Heat crew. No way. If Chris Paul goes to Cleveland? Damn, Skip, you, you <laughs> trumped me on that one. That is the first time in our career together that I said you actually trumped me on that one. Because if Chris Paul did end up going to Cleveland with LeBron. It would at least be a battle. It would be a battle. No be a doubt about battle. it. Then you got me there. But I was just thinking as Cleveland presently constructed okay. if they added, if Miami added Durant. But if Chris Paul went to Cleveland and Durant went to Miami, could be very, very interesting. Mm. Very interesting. I believe Kevin Durant is going to leave one way or the other, win or lose. Win a title, I believe he would leave. Really? And I think he's going to have the time of his life through the summer getting wined and dined in a tour over America because every destination you brought up has some validity to it. It has some worth to it. I get, listen, I know for a fact he's intrigued by the New York situation. He likes Phil, loves Mello. Porzingis, wherever they're headed. He ain't that know. intrigued by, right. he's intrigued by the New York market. He's intrigued yeah. by Carmelo. He ain't that intrigued by Phil Jackson, the executive. Nope. And, it, the and the rookie situation. and Porzingis. And Porzingis not, is not nice. With the, yeah. yeah. Okay. But L.A. remains somewhat in play, as you, you point out. I, I, the, the last team on the list, I think, is the hometown team to me, going back to, to D.C. Okay. But Miami's in play, and I believe that San Antonio and Golden State would just get in play, depending on Let's, let's just say they flame out. Let's do the hypothetical. If they flame out fairly quickly, then at some point Kevin Durant is going to say, I want to do it the right way, and I want some rings. I want a ring or two. And either Golden State or San Antonio would give you the opportunity to win rings. Now, you, you could call them piggyback rings if you, if you want. But especially in San Antonio, they're starting to recreate uh, another era. It's a new wave. Like it's, it's not a, yeah, necessarily I, I, jumping I, I, on the bandwagon I, I, with I, the, I, I the old you. guy. Yeah. I feel you. If Kevin Durant had gone to San Antonio last summer, I'm not saying he could, obviously. I'm just speculating that yep. if he had gone there last summer while they were building a new regime, fine. But this is a San Antonio Spurs team that just won 67 games, mm -hmm. that went 40 and 1 on their home court, that is widely considered to be the team, if not the second best team yep. in all of the NBA. Correct. And the only team that's, argue, that's in the argument with them are the Golden State Warriors, who are the reigning defending NBA champions. You go to one of those two teams, you're piggybacking. That is not the same as a team, you being the guy that that's the reason unless, they won the championship. Unless my Spurs beat the Thunder and then lose to the Warriors, and that would be once again, Warriors repeat. Well, then San Antonio is still the bridesmaid. You know, still we're, we can't get over the hump here against this I, team. I, I, just, I just see it because, again, San Antonio would have beaten OKC. So you going to the team that actually beats you is still a form of piggybacking. I don't see it that way. You go anywhere else, now, because he's one of the top three players in the world. Kevin Durant is a superstar, mm -hmm. okay? So this is not about questioning his skill or his validity or his substance. Not at all. It's saying that the situation says they could win with or without you. Other situations you go to, no, they would be winning because you arrived. Mm -hmm. You go to Washington, you go to New York, you go to the Lakers, oh, you go to Miami. They're will. winning because you arrived. That's entirely different Does than... Does want you know, that kind of pressure? Well, I think so. I think so. Not, not Maybe not New York, L.A. type pressure. Mm -hmm. But if you talk about Miami, who would have a problem with that pressure? No. We heard Boston, too. Who would have, and and Boston. Bo well, well, Boston, again, mm -hmm. now, now that's a different kind of pressure. Because, again, in Boston, they got all the pieces with future draft picks, et cetera, et cetera. Coach. But he would have to be the man. Mm -hmm. yeah. In Miami, you the man, but you don't really have to be the man. Yep. LeBron was the man, but there were times when D. Wade was yep. the one. Here's the ball at clo yep. to close. You see what I'm yeah. saying? It, you don't have to be that guy, but you're still that guy. That is an ideal situation for Kevin Durant. Well, he's going to be the story of the oh, summer. No and, I don't think, and I don't really yeah. think Lots he cares about dinners. being wined and dined like that. And oh, he, no. Listen, this is a guy that announced his contract, this 85 million contract extension on Twitter, man. He don't care. He's not that kind of guy. He's not. We know he does care about getting a chip, though, so we'll see where that Well, I wish him luck. I hope he, I, I want Kevin Durant to win a ring. He's too great not to have a ring. We shall see. It's going to be an interesting summer. The Browns already had four quarterbacks on the roster and added another one this weekend by drafting Cody Kessler out of USC. What does this mean for RG3 and the...
first home sweep of the Yankees since 2013 and now sit in first place. New York lost for the 13th time in the last 17 games after a 4-2 start to the season and are now in last place. No. Skip. The Yankees are in last place? The Yankees, the New York Yankees. Stephen A. Smith, I regret to inform you your Yankees are on the way to missing the playoffs for the third time in four years. And this is starting to resemble the dark days of the 80s and early 90s when they missed the playoffs from 82 all the way up to 94. I think we've started down that slide. What are you going to do about it? <sighs> no pitching. No pitching. They were struggling with run production, but came out of their funk yesterday. And then Patances, who I loved last year, has given up a game-winning home run in two of the last three nights. Yovaldi hasn't been that impressive. Tanaka and Sabathia. So do you give up? Listen, at least you have your Knicks. I don't want to talk good. about. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about this right now. Oh, really? <laughs> really? That's where we go. Yeah, That's they're where we go. Steelers. Is that yeah. where we go? They're Steelers. They yeah. are. They're legit good. They're going to be healthy. Can I talk to Alamar? Yeah. Can I talk to Alamar about? It?